Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. This is going to be a baking day. You know, it's September. Well, September means fall, even if it is 95 degrees outside here in Texas. We were supposed to get a little cool front, but it didn't make it down here. So, anyway, when the calendar says fall, then we just go ahead and decorate for fall and we're just happy that it's fall, regardless of what the weather outside feels like. Otherwise, we wouldn't have hardly any season except summer, because it's warm, hot, and hotter in Texas. Once in a while, we get a, enough cool weather in the winter time that we can burn the fireplace. But let me tell you, on the Gulf Coast where I live, we don't get much cool weather. So it's fall, it's September, and that always makes me want to bake. Get in the kitchen and make some goodies or a good meal. I do that year round, but the fall is just to me a time of of enjoying your blessings and making stuff and gathering people close and and having fellowship and having good food and snack stuff. I look like I like that, don't I? It just hangs around, but that's okay. I enjoy life. Today we're going to make a cookie recipe that is absolutely wonderful and it comes from Granny Culberth and if any of y'all watching knew Granny Culberth you knew she knew how to make good food. And this is a sugar cookie recipe but you don't have to roll it out and cut it. You just get your little scooper or you get a teaspoon and just drop them on your cookie sheet and bake them. And of course I've already done it uh, and I'm just making my beginning part of my video here but it makes a big old pretty good cookie so y'all hang around and uh, we're going to get to the rest of this video and show y'all how to make the granny's drop sugar cookies butter so you know with butter they're already going to be tasty delicious and we need one cup of oil, the just vegetable oil. And I'm just going to give that a little bitty turn. And while it's turning, I'm going to add two cups of granulated sugar. With my little OXO squeezable measuring cups, they sure do help. I want to get that well incorporated. Okay. <clears throat> then I'm going to add two eggs. Let me get something to break it in. This is gifts from my hens. And so some of them are laying huge eggs. I don't know if there's more than, probably just one because I never get, well, no, sometimes I get two in a day of the big ones. One. Okay, the recipe calls for two teaspoons of vanilla, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I'm going to start adding in some of the flour, as it called for. Five cups, so we're going to put about half of it. Maybe not half. Maybe I can't count today. Making a mess, throwing it out. Call for two teaspoons of cream of tartar. One teaspoon of soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in where as that mixes, it'll be well incorporated. Just going to continue to mix this for a little bit and then I'll be back and we'll add the rest of the flour. 
Okay, I got the rest of the flour in, and I started it a little bit because it just makes, I don't have the guard on, and I'm making a mess here. Okay, I'm just going to let them mix until they're really well mixed, and then we'll start baking them. The recipe says it makes about six dozen. Sometimes I get a little more, sometimes a little less, I guess, depending on how big of cookies I dip out, and if it's a full moon or a decreasing moon. If it's an increase of the moon, you're going to get a fuller cake, more cookies. And if it's a decrease, there's going to be a little bit less. And if you bake all the time, you recognize the difference. It's not just an old wives' tale. It's really true. The moon has a great effect on a lot of stuff on our earth. I'm going to scrape the bottom. Make sure everything's off the bottom. It looks like it's mixed up really good. Yeah, I think that's very good. You know, a sugar cookie, a good sugar cookie, is a wonderful gift. Most people here don't make shortbread, but uh, a homemade cookie with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a glass of milk. That's as good a treat as rich shortbread and these are good little crisp cookies. Okay, we're going to get back over there to the butcher block where all the magic happens and get these on a plate and get them on a cookie sheet, get them ready to bake. I'm going to spray my cookie sheets with a little bit of baking spray. Let's see, here's the other one. And the second one. And also my cookie scoop. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of Pam. Maybe everything will come out a little better. Makes it so easy. This dough is good. Just gonna finish filling this cookie sheet, fill the other one, and um, get them in the oven. And I think I'm gonna use the convection bake, so I'll be filling two more, but I don't have two more this size. But I'll be getting them filled and ready to go in. When I use my convection bake on that oven, it takes, it almost cuts the bake time in half. So you can whip out some cookies pretty quickly with that. Okay, I've got um, 12 of them here. I'm going to get the other pan loaded and get them in the oven. When I bring them out, I'll bring y'all back to, the, to see what they look like. I'm going to use my little Wilton cookie scooper. I told y'all I got it with a coupon at Joann's, so Joann's Fabrics, Crafts and Fabrics, but it's made by Wilton, and it just makes it so handy to just get your cookies off of the pan. I've already got one huge rack of these cookies over there, but I needed some more room, so I thought I would show y'all my scooper again. You know how I am about my gadgets. Now the roar in the background is my fit of hood and a piece of cookie broke off and got down in that oven and let me tell you what, it burned my eyes and it stunk the kitchen up so I had to turn that noisy thing on to clear the air. I'm thankful to have it but I wish it wasn't so noisy. I got one more pan in the oven and then I'll be done. Y'all I got eight dozen cookies and some of them are smaller like that one's a little smaller some of them are a little bigger they spread out a little bit more but I got eight dozen actually probably three or four more because there's been a few bites taken if that didn't take me very long 
because when I cook them with the convection, I can cook two pans. I could cook three, but I usually do two at a time. And in the convection, I cooked them about eight minutes, and uh, regularly it would take 10 to 12. So it, it speeds it up, and besides, I get to do two at a time. This is a very good recipe for y'all to add to your recipe file. They're good, they're crisp, they're, they're, they're not too sweet. They're just perfect for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, or just to run by and get you a little snack. Yeah, that cookie is good. Um, I love sugar cookies, but I don't love rolling them out and cutting them. So this one is a drop sugar cookie. That makes it so easy to have something that's really good. I hope y'all are planning your holidays and uh, getting the things that are shift stable that you're going to need for your meals because we never know what's going to happen closer to election time. Our world's in a our world, our USA world, is in a mess. There's a lot going on, and I'll tell y'all what's the scary part. What's in the news, it's not really the news. The things that are going on behind the scene that they're not telling us about, that's what's scary. So have you some uh, preparation ahead so you can have a good holiday. If you're hunkered down in your house, you can still make it festive with a good meal. Y'all think about it, be vigilant, look around, keep your eyes open, be wise. It doesn't matter which political party that you back or that you are affiliated with. When things are in a mess, it affects everybody. So you need to stop and think about regardless of who you want to put the blame on or what you think's going on around you, uh, we're in trouble sometimes. I just want y'all to have a good holiday and your little old kids and your big old kids and you know make it make it memorable and you can do that if you'll plan ahead a little bit you can have everything that you need that way if the shelves are empty or the roads are blocked you can still have a festive holiday y'all need to think about that we've got two good ones coming up thanksgiving and christmas so plan ahead a little bit Listen to this little old lady and do a little bit that I tell you because you'll be glad you did. The good Lord bless and keep y'all and I'll be back in a day or two with another recipe or I've been getting my sewing room ready. I'm going to give y'all a tour of my sewing room and I've been making some aprons. So we'll get in there and see what's going on in the sewing room one day before long.